We were joking. We were. We were joking. And every time we joke about something, the worst case scenario, they go and do it. Jessica Rabbit being covered up with a trench coat. Mm -hmm. You called it. You're like, what are, what are they going to do? You said it. I don't know who said it, but we talked about it. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. We're going to do a follow-up video on the uh, removal, the initial removal of Jessica Rabbit from the Disneyland uh, Roger Rabbit ride, and then they're bringing her back as a detective. And the first thing we said was, are they going to put her in a trench? This is before any of the pictures mm -hmm. were shown. Are they going to put her in a trench coat as an excuse to cover her up? And by God, that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. Of course they did. Current your Disney. It's against what the character was, you know? She was supposed to be a sex pot. That was the joke. That was the joke. She was out. She, they, she was never in danger. She was outsmarting all of them. That was the point. And she didn't want to look in like she looked. That was the point. But that's problematic because, you know, it's almost like back in the 80s when all the, the, the far, far right organizations were trying to censor the hell out of everything. You have to cover everything up. Yeah. But now it's the far left doing the exact same damn thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I talked about it before. I said it was about, you know, the religious left. And that's exactly the same mindset that led to people trying to ban Dungeons and Dragons, which coincidentally enough, uh, written by a lot of the material was written by Christians. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted to ban Dungeons and Dragons, ban heavy metal, ban this, ban that, ban cartoon shows, ban the Smurfs because, you know, they were not wearing shirts. I'm sure that was probably a thing if you you look. But now now we're going to we're gonna cover up Jessica Rabbit because it's, it's problematic. Mm -hmm. It's problematic now. It's never been problematic any time before this. 30-some-year-old movie. Now it's problematic. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 235,000 subs. Thanks for the support. And yeah, Jessica Rabbit is problematic. She is so problematic that if you try to put a thumbnail of Jessica Rabbit on your YouTube video, mm -hmm. they will delete it. It's true. Happened to us. She, yeah, t like twice. I tried to crop her boobs out. I tried to move this around. I tried to, no, I had every thumbnail of Jessica Rabbit on that other video removed. Um, and then we did one on uh, comics later in the day and we had a, a female comic book character. Um, same thing happened. Like, like YouTube is going crazy. They're like, oh, we can't have sexy cartoons at all. We can have actual naked people doing yoga in videos mm -hmm. on YouTube, but we can't show a, a cartoon character from a PG rated movie from like 35 years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was covered up. Yeah. It, it's the stupidest thing. And and the fact of the matter is, you know, there's no reason to do this. They're rewriting the entire ride, apparently, changing the story to make her a main character so she's no longer a damsel in distress, which she never really she was never to was. begin with. Um, so that, that, you know, she has more agency. I love it. So we have to give her more, you know, so where she's not, she's the one in control and has more, you know, but then they tell her that she can't wear what she wants. You know, that's what gets me. They have these, these, these like mo movements like, you know, men just need to learn that they, just cause someone wears something skimpy, they don't, they don't have a right to them and everything else. And women should be allowed to wear what they want. And the same people then turn around and say, oh my God, Jessica Rabbit, we have to, we have to cover her up. Yeah, this is insane. People aren't happy about this at all. I mean. Uh, you know, I'm like, what is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back with, with Disney fans? Because, I mean, it's already, you know, it's bad enough that they're already complaining about the price gouging, whatever. And then they've got this uh, diversity and inclusion initiative, which we've been talking about for two years now. They basically have auditors, as I understand it, third-party auditors going through the theme park ride by ride, all their theme parks, ride by ride, looking for things to be offended by. And the last thing I ever would have expected uh, was for them to go... Take Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, out it was the, a ride for kids. It's yeah. been around for years, and there's never been a problem. Never been a problem. I'm just tired of this. I mean, I guess because I'm I, cause coming out from a perspective of being a woman, I am really, really, really tired of people telling me what I can and can't look like, what I can and can't wear. They go on about body shaming and all this other shit, and they turn around and push for stuff like this, and it's just stupid. So, I mean, this is the thing. You know, we we've been covering this with uh, you know, we had a lot of uh, uh, Twitter. Twitter idiots and journalists who support them, uh, you know, clapping, uh, applauding anime being censored and video games being censored. And, uh, you know, right. just even Diablo, I talked about the Diablo remake that they took the Amazon, which used to be, you know, basically a, a Barbie doll in armor, but they took her and they made her look like Willem Dafoe. Yeah, you know? I heard. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Why? Oh, because we don't want, you know, people to be... Now, this, this might actually change things because... Twitter really liked to to flick it to Jessica Rabbit. Mm -hmm. 
And they're covering her up now. Yeah, and so. you know, it just blows my mind. It really does. The 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 lengths that these people are going to, these extremists' lengths. We saw it again years ago, and it was you know very far right. Now the far left is becoming exactly what they claim they hate. The religious left. Yeah, we You're, need you, yeah. women need agency. Women need rights. Women, you know, don't don't shame sex workers. And then you put a trench coat on Jessica Rabbit, and she wasn't even a sex worker. Well, well news. It was a patty cake. It was just a patty cake. It's not didn't the same mean nothing. Thing. It didn't mean nothing. And she um, did it for her husband. Yeah, she wasn't actually holding hands. She just right. slapped hands a little bit. And she did it for her husband. She had to. Uh, yeah. So, you know, newsflash, she's not wearing anything under the trench coat. Whoopsie. No. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, <laughs> let's talk about this. A lot of people pissed off. A lot she still looks like she doesn't have, she just has a coat on with a low cut neckline. I mean, how is that any better? But we can't show any boobage. But the boobs are going to be there. They're still big boobs. Like, okay, I, you know what? I have big boobs. And when here's the thing, well, besides the fact when you said this draw that broke the camel's back, I was gonna be like, well, her back's probably breaking with those giant boobs. Um, if I put a coat on, the boobs are still there. They don't go away. It, it, you can if you wear a trench coat or a fitted coat, it's gonna be as like as huggy and on your boobs as that dress is gonna be, and that V is awfully low. She's gonna flash guests on the way out she's gonna pop that trench coat yeah, yeah it's okay because it's a woman yeah. and they're but they're gonna have a trench coat she they're gonna have her legs sticking out or something probably no they won't you, they i cover, bet you they will they will completely cover and that like you said if it's red they're showing her in black and white if it's a red trench coat she's gonna look like carmen san diego so what did they do for this this group did they go like you know get a group of amish together <laughs> i mean this is in black and white they, yeah, this, uh, I, as I understand it, and I've heard this from multiple sources, there there actually is a, a third party uh, auditing team, firm, group, whatever, that is going through the parks and they have since the beginning of Black Lives Matter. But they're fun at parties. I'm sure they are. Looking for everything to be offended by. Now, some of the rides, some of the Disney rides, admittedly, they haven't aged well. I, I, I get that, but... Some of the replacements are stupid. Yeah, I mean, yeah like really, the chimpanzees and jungle cruise. The chimpanzees and jungle cruise. When, but, and that's also unevenly enforced because the the natives and Trader Sam, yeah, they're in the damn movie. They're a huge yes. plot point in the movie. Why couldn't you just change them to look like they did in the movie mm -hmm. so they're not the racist stereotypes? Why would you have to take them out completely? Well, no, now the, you know, we don't like stereotypes. Like Trader Sam, they have them now stealing all the lost and found stuff and fencing it. I mean, you know, I, I, mean, I mean, see what I'm saying? They, like, the it's like, they, they replaced natives with chimpanzees, and then they, but, that, but that's okay. They made sure they talk, checked with Animal Kingdom first that they're uh, they're representing them authentically, so no one laughs at them. The animatronic, they don't want people laughing at the animatronic chimpanzees. Oh, oh, I thought you meant laughing at Disney. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, because people are laughing at Disney for being so ridiculous. And this is, I don't think this is all Disney. Again, I think this is uh, some diversity and inclusion initiative. So, like, Coke got busted. Disney got busted with Reimagine Tomorrow, and then it disappeared for a couple months, and then they came back with it. And now, again, this one might be the one that breaks the camera. Oh, oh speaking of, of, of Disney and, and their double standards, they put up something on uh, Disney Parks blog again. And remember all the backlash I got last time about the using the, the term Latinx in their yeah. stuff? Yeah, they doubled down on it, and they, they did it again on their Disney Parks blog article. I noticed they didn't put that one up on Twitter, though. So I did. Because I was like, when people keep telling you they don't want to be called something or they don't want you to use a term, why the hell do you keep doing it? And they're doubling down on that. So, so it's like, who they're going to cover up Jessica Rabbit, but they're going to keep using a, a term that people that are, you know, of that heritage keep saying they don't like. And please don't use it. <laughs> but listen to Twitter on, you know, one thing, but then they'll, they'll, no matter what, they, how many times we'll tell them they hate it on Twitter, they just step over them and they keep using a derogatory term. Disney used to listen. They used to listen to the guests that were in the park. If you, like, if you would just complain randomly and you weren't a paying customer, they couldn't prove it, they didn't care. But if you were actually in the park and you would go guest services and they got enough complaints, they actually would change shit. Uh, they yeah, did they that. were known for it. Yeah, Journey to Imagination, they, they rethemed it uh, in the late 90s. It was, I mean, it's bad now, but it was way worse. Like Figment it wasn't was. even in it. It was really bad. And they had so many complaints that they, they went back and retooled it like a year or two later and added Figment to it. Now it's better. It's still nowhere near what no. it used and to be. No, people have been asking for it to be, have Dreamfinder and Figment in it, bring it back, do it well. They refuse to do it. Yeah. But they'll change everything else people don't want. So here's, here's the first image they released um, from Twitter. And this happened, I mean, this happened like a day after we. Yeah, we joked. We joked. 
I was like, you guys, they wouldn't do that. Well, yeah, of course they would. And again, this isn't about like giving her agency. This is about putting her in a trench coat to cover her up. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Rabbit to become the newest private eye in Mickey's Toontown. Um, this is what they said, saying the recent return of the Toon Patrol Weasels is the main driver behind the recent sharp rise in crime. This is backstory nobody gives a shit about. Uh, crime statistics throughout Toontown, Jessica Rabbit has determined it's past time for her to throw her fedora into the ring by starting her own private investigation services while taking inspiration from longtime friend and legendary, legendary detective Eddie Valiant. Jessica shows that she certainly means business. Jessica's fabled acting career has made her one of the most recognized stars in the Rune cartoon family of performers. Now she's using her celebrity to speak out. Oh my God, she's uh -huh. a celebrity activist. Yep. No, I... <laughs> but she I, wouldn't I, do what she'd do. Enough is enough, <sighs> Jessica was heard exclaiming last week. The good tunes of our neighborhoods are afraid to come out at night, and it's getting worse by the day. Those weasels are up to something big. I'm going to find out what it is and put a stop to it. Watch out, weasels. I, mean, I can see her doing this where she's trying to stop the shit. I just can't see her leveraging... Yeah, yeah. It is in character for her, I think, to, to, oh, to, yeah, to yeah. totally be like, I'm putting a stop to this bullshit. I mean, she's a ginger. Of course she's going to put the stop to the bullshit. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, quick look at Twitter right now shows dozens of tweets about the change with fans complaining that Disney does not understand the concept of Jessica Rabbit and decrying political correctness. Others who both support and oppose the ride changes note that putting a character like Jessica Rabbit in a trench coat seems to do the opposite of preventing people from having sexualized thoughts. Yeah, we don't know what she's wearing. Yeah, that's right. Underneath that. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the general public reacts to this, but I mean, this is, again, part of Disney's audit of their theme parks. And it began last year, maybe before, because Pirates of the Caribbean was the first. Now, just a reminder, when they announced that they were taking the wench auction out of Pirates of the Caribbean, they got booed. They got mm -hmm. booed at D23, which is a Disney fan event. They booed the guys talking about it, the Imagineers talking about it. They, did not like the It wasn't their fault. They were just doing what they were told. They were just doing their job. You know, so it's, I mean, Disney fans, general public, I don't think, that, I mean, at the end of the day, they're not going to get, people aren't going to get It that wasn't a super shit. popular attraction anyway, I don't think. I mean, I'm in Disneyland. I, I was in Disneyland. I just, we got right on it. It wasn't like there was a long wait for it. No, no. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm a Disney World person more, so I'm not going to try to speak for Disneyland fans, but... I just, I don't know. The whole thing's stupid. I'm just tired of this crazy ass stupidity. Women need agency unless you're Jessica Rabbit. And then, you know, we have to cover you up because, you know, we don't want men getting the wrong thoughts. Don't want men getting the wrong thoughts, even though I'm sure there are some women out there, some ladies out there who like Jessica Rabbit. If you're a lady who likes Jessica Rabbit, leave a comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but keep it clean. That's right. Please. All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.